22 year old Liza Burke is still recovering in the hospital from a brain hemorrhage. The Asheville native was on spring break when she had a headache and, and went to her room. Well, her friends later found her unresponsive. Her case had a lot of folks on social media making claims about what happens during brain hemorrhages. So Wake Up Charlotte's Megan Bragg verifies some of those claims for us. Doctors say Liza suffered from a rare condition called arteriovenous malformation. According to the Mayo Clinic, this is when blood vessels become entangled and are incorrectly connected to arteries and veins. The blood vessels can weaken or rupture, which can lead to a brain hemorrhage. Many people took to our social media page claiming if you get a brain hemorrhage or these AVMs rupture, it is always fatal. So the question, if you suffer from a brain hemorrhage, is it 100% fatal? Let's verify. Our source is the Cleveland Clinic and cardiologist Dr. Pyle Coley. There are several different types of brain hemorrhages. These all depend on where the bleeding happens inside the brain. Each of them can have a different risk factors, different causes, and different prognosis. But are these hemorrhages always deadly? Definitely not. In fact, our hope is to catch the hemorrhage early, try to intervene early so that we can really change the trajectory of the hemorrhage. According to the Cleveland Clinic, the seriousness and outcome of a brain bleed depends on its cause, location inside of the skull, size of the bleed, and the amount of time that passes between the bleed and treatment. How well a person does after brain hemorrhage, whether they live or die, depends on a number of different factors. The, the a biggest one of these is actually their age, their underlying health. According to the Cleveland Clinic, arteriovenous malformations are present in about 1% of the population. About 2% of all hemorrhages are from that each year. So we can verify that no, brain hemorrhages are not 100% fatal. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg.